So we have successfully set up our branding color and from now on we can use it in our design. It's the time to start designing our application or to start coding our design which we previously designed in this series using Adobe XD. So this is our design, so let me run it. Here, first of all, we have this splash screen that we will design it later on. And after that, we have this sign-in page, which has this logo with this forum and also this button. And we have this sign-up page, which is mostly similar with the sign-in, but with its different fields. So how we can design this? It's really easy and we'll start doing that. But right now you can see that the home page of this application is as our initial page and this is coming from the main.dart. So I am going to change the route as sign in route to be our initial route or the initial page when the application is loading. And later on we will change this logic based on the uh, user is logged in or not and we'll change it later. So now for the designing purpose, we can put the sign in as our initial wrap. This is our sign in page and let me go to the presentation auth and sign in page. Here we have this sign in page written here. So if I change the update it and save it, you can see that it is changed. So this is where we can work on. But if you look at the design, here for the sign in page, we don't have that app bar with that color there, this color and this title I mean. So let me remove this title. And for the color, first of all, we need to put the background color as colors, the colors dot uh, transparent. So that color is gone, but still we have this shit or this uh, background, which is coming from the elevation so elevation uh, it should be inside the app well let me put a comma and a story or save it to format it nicely and then we have this elevation which i'm going to put as 0.0, .0. and if i do so you can see that everything is gone but the problem is that right now we don't have the battery icon and also the signal with the notification and everything that is why, because we need to choose the brightness. So the brightness should be light, because if we put the brightness light, it will change the color of those status bar items to be black. And also what else we need is this automatic uh, imply leading, which will create a back button and we need to create it as false. So we are currently good to go and after this app bar what we need is the body and this body which is a container which is some padding and I am going to put this agent6.all and it should be 16 later on we'll change it so we have this container and this container will have a child and this child is a list view so list view why list view you might ask why this list view because sometimes some phones are with a smaller screens and they, this design i mean this design cannot be fit in so we need some scrolling you know to be these design visible to them so that's why we put this list view and this list view has children and for the children, the first element that we have is this icon. But unfortunately, we don't have this icon inside our application. So how we can create this icon? This is really easy if you're working with Adobe XD. Let me zoom it here uh, from any of these pages. Suppose for this page, let me select both of these. And I am going to create just right click and make it as component here. So right now we have this component too. Let me just double click to rename it and I'll call it as logo. So we have right now this one. And if I cl click it again here for the right click, if I choose it for export or market for export. And if I go to the file export here, select it. 
here we have many options first of all save as name and also where to save currently I'm choosing the desktop the format also you can choose the PNG SVG or whatever you want also design for web iOS or Android I'm going to choose this Android and also here we can choose the density so I am going to choose XX HDTPI and I'm going to export it this will export it on my desktop here you can see these different densities have created here I mean this logo is created with these different densities and this is XX HTTPI with the maximum density so how we can put this inside our projects let me first of all copy it and I am coming here inside my application and after that what I'm going to do is inside the lab let me just minimize all and I am going to create another not inside the lab let me just put it inside this uh, the, the directory I mean inside the main project and I call it as assets doesn't matter where you put it so it is better to put it outside of the lab and also I'm going to create another directory inside the assets and I'm going to call it as images so we have these assets and also images and I am going to uh, just click on the images and uh, right click and reveal in the finder we have these images and I am going to paste that logo image that I copied before so basically this is a PNG and right now the size is not that much which is the 7 KB and what we need to do is if whenever we are adding an asset to our project we need to add it to the popspec.yaml file and here we have this asset which is currently you know uh, comment it out so I am going to press this comment backslash to remove the comment and here we have the we have to add the path or the image so the, our images inside the assets we have images and the name of images logo.png so if I save it here and I just let me refresh it a little bit yeah so right now we are good to go and we can use that image so the first thing we have is a container inside the list view so container and this container will have a child which is center and this will have a child basically that is image that image and this is a set image and I am going to just paste the path to the image which is inside the assets and also inside the images and it's just called logo.png so let me save it and if I save you can see that the logo is coming up but this is not a good practice to put all these strings here inside uh, your uh, UI so what you can do is inside the values that we have and we can create another uh, you know file and I'm going to call it as images.dart so basically this is a class so class and I'm going to call it as images so let me move this one here so we have some static fields so I'm going to create this static string and I am going to call it as logo what I'm going to do is I am going to just paste the path so let me copy the path from here and I am going to just paste it there so basically what we have is here inside the images list of all the paths to the images so this is a good practice because we kept all our images here and later on what we want is if we change the path we can change it here and it will affect in the entire application so how we can use this one right now it is really easy let me remove this one and we can use it the images.logo so let me bring this images by pressing control dot or command dot your images.logo and if I save it you can see right now it's coming and if I refresh it you can see it's still there but this size is a little bit big what I can do is let me put 
uh, some height to this container and I'm going to put the 250 yeah it's okay right now it's coming a little bit down it's okay for me but later on we'll change it if it is too big so we can move on and after this container what we have is we have these uh, let me bring the login page it is here let me run it you can see right after the login page what we have is this text form field but right now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to design it later on I'll tell you what uh, my intention is so we have this text form field so this text form field uh, let me save it and if I save it you can see it's coming like this one but this is not what we want we want some decoration and for the decoration which is input decoration text input decoration I believe text input decoration uh, input decoration input decoration and we have this prefix icon so this prefix icon is icon and icons which is icon icons dot email and if I save it you can see it's coming here and let me put a comma here and save it to format it nicely and after that what we have is uh, if you see from the design we have some border around it so we have this border which is input border I believe and in this input border have uh, so it should be not input border it should outlined border outline input border because that's outline and we have this border radius I'm going to put the 30 here so so border radius should be border radius and um, border radius dot circular and this radius should be 30 and right now we are good to go so we have created this one and right now if I select it you can see it's coming with same as our design and also we can put a color if we want but right now I think it's good to go but what we need is we need a hint so we put the hint text so enter your email address I think it is there enter your email not email address so that's it and we have this one and what we need is we need to copy this one and I am going to paste it after this oh gosh so I am going to copy all this and I am going to paste it here so this is uh, the icon should be icons.lock for the password enter your password and we have the same thing but unfortunately we don't have any spaces between this and here you can see that we need some spaces and also we need to put this border side or the border side or the border width a little bit thinner so we'll change it later but right now what we need is a sized sized box and let me put the height of this size box as 15 for now yeah it is good and also after this text for field what we have is another sized box with 15 it should be more than 15 let me put 25 and we have a material button here so we have a material button and this material button let me save it here it's not coming anything the first thing you know this red uh, is quickly line is coming it's sorry yellow which is a warning and we need to just call this on pressed and right now we are good to go but it's not coming why because we need a child so this child is first of all let me put it should be centered and after that child text 
and this should say sign in so if I save it right now you can see the sign in but unfortunately we don't have the you know the background color so right now we have this background color and the uh, so the color should be called team of team of uh, context and dot primary color if I save it right now you can see we have it but it is not what we want we need to put some height and the height for this should be 50 I believe it's okay yeah so let me put as 55 it's more bigger and what we need is we need to have the shape and this shape is I believe a stadium border that's it and if I save it this is what we want but the text color is white so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a style inside this text and this is text style and we have the color as colors dot white and also we need to put the font size so font size I believe it should be 30 let me put it yeah right now we are good to go so this is our form but unfortunately this form doesn't have a validation and right now uh, what we need to do is so right now what we need to do is we need some kind of validation to validate our uh, email suppose if I'm entering something so this is not a valid input and or a valid email and suppose even I put something like as uh, John right John do John dot do this is not a valid email a valid email should be at suppose name dot com or example dot com so this is a valid email and right now the validation is not happening and also if I suppose click on this sign in nothing is happening so let me finish up with the design and after that we are going to put that logic there so we have after that we have this text and also we have this sign up so after this material but what we need is another size box so this is not a good practice to repeat yourself and right now we are repeating you can see this, this size box his size box and size box so i'm going to create a, a you know a method from it but right now let me put it as this um, hard coded so we have this height let me put this height as 20 for now and after this what we have is we have a row and it has this children so the children the first one is a text and uh, it says uh, don't have account so don't have an account so don't have wow don't have an account if that is the case it's coming dear so what we need is what another one should be the item so let me put it here a comma and store it we have a flat button and this flat button should have on pressed and this on pressed is dear and also we need a child so this child is a text and text is just sign up so if I save it right now we have it but it should be at the end what we need to do is inside the row for the main access alignment we can put it as main access alignment dot end and if I save it it's dear but the color of this text it should be the primary color so a style text style and the color should be theme of context so team of context dot primary color and if I save it you can see it is dear so this is our design but unfortunately we don't have any logic and before the logic applying the logic what I need to do is create a method out of this size box so I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to click on this bulb here what we need to extract a method and this method built the size box I'm going to call that that is okay with me and this we need to just accept a double 
and that is the height so what I'm going to do is I am just going to return a size box with the height and height of height that's it and if I store it right now we need to pass the heights for this one I am going to pass the 20 for the other one this I'm going to copy this one build size box and here we have 25 25 here we have 15 so 15 and we are good to go so if I save it it's the same brazil but as I mentioned earlier we don't have any validation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to do the validation in the other part because it needs some explanation also so thank you for watching